School lunch debt piles up for school districts and families in our state. Well, tonight, the plan to try to erase that debt. News Force Austin Reset with details. Roughly $75,000 is needed to do the trick for those districts that reached out for help. That's according to Oklahomans for Public Education and the Oklahoma Rural Schools Coalition, two organizations who say they need your help to reach their goal. The average Oklahoman doesn't realize what a big issue th this is for school districts. Erica Wright with the Oklahoma Rural Schools Coalition says as kids sit down for their daily meals, school districts are thousands and even tens of thousands of dollars in school lunch debt. And families feel that same burden, especially with universal free lunches ending after the pandemic. You are all feeling it when we go to the grocery store or to the gas pump. And so that is probably the vast majority of these unpaid lunch balances are simply just families who are trying to make ends meet. According to Erica, Stillwater Public Schools is just over $37,000 in school lunch debt. Clinton schools are sitting at just over $20,000, while Van Noss Public Schools and Ada is at almost $10,000. And districts generally have to absorb that debt with their general fund. It prevents them from being able to do other things with that money. Forms can be filled out for a student to get free lunch, but Erica says districts aren't seeing them come in because it's voluntary. A 2023 School Nutrition Association survey of over 1,200 districts found that an average elementary school breakfast and lunch runs almost $4.50 per day. Middle school and high schools were even higher. Now the hope is to alleviate the stress of affording that on both sides with money and in the legislature. We are seeing um, some movement at the legislature for some bills to be coming up this session to address this issue. Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Austin, thank you. We have a link to ways you and even businesses can help out. It's on our website at KFOR.com.